Hello, Kristen Brown here with Happy Hour Effect, and I am so excited to share with you a new video series that I've been wanting to do for a while, because some of you that have been following me for a while know that I used to do regular weekly videos with stress less tips, and people loved them, and they were fun to do. I'd do it when I was out walking the dog, or out in my car, or wherever, and then life got crazy, the dog died, which is very sad, and we're not going to talk about that because it was over a year ago, but my life dynamics just changed. My daughter got busier, and so I haven't been able to do the things that I love to do. And so I thought it made sense for this first video of this new series to actually be about that exact topic, how we get so busy, we get so wrapped up in everything else that we've got going on, that those things that we actually love to do get pushed down and down and down and down the priority list. Because when work comes to shove and life comes to shove, ooh, well, there's no time for you anymore, right? But here's the secret to that. When you are really, really stressed out, you've probably all heard me talking about stress chemicals and how they circulate through your body and they do all kinds of damage in the process. You know, in the short term, they're wonderful because they tell us, like, oops, something's going on, you better go and fix it. But if we don't heed that message, that warning sign, and we let those stress chem chemicals build up over time, we start having all kinds of issues creep in. Our decision making is clouded. We're unable to focus. We don't sleep as well. We get sick more often. And all of those things have an impact on our productivity, right? If you're sick all the time, how hard is it to get out of bed and get yourself motivated to go to work and do a good job? If you're not sleeping at night, I'm guilty of this, and you're thinking and thinking and worrying and spinning or even thinking about good stuff, but you're not sleeping, you go the next day to get up and you try to be productive and you try to get things done and you're just dragging and you just can't get that energy level back up to do what you want to do that day. And if you're not making the right decisions, if you're unfocused, if you're clouded, you never know what's going to happen because you might make a snap decision that you never would have made had those stress chemicals not been circulating, had you not had that, that fog over your decision-making processes. So it's really important that you know what's driving your stress so that you can start to minimize those things and make time for those things that you love to do because those things you love to do boost endorphins. The feel-good chemicals that come from the feel-good receptors in your brain, they kick off a bunch of, of chemicals that are good for you, and they help to make you happy. They boost your mood. They give you clarity and clear thought over what decisions you're making. They help you focus. They give you the energy to do those things that you want to do when you wake up in the morning every day, those goals that you have set for yourself. So if you can figure out for yourself what those things are, because what's stressing you out is not going to be the same as the things that are stressing your coworker out. You identify those things, and then you say, okay, I'm going to start working on minimizing those or eliminating them if they're things that you don't have to be doing. And then you start filling in those gaps as you minimize them with the stuff that you love. And as you add more of that stuff, life is going to turn around for you, I promise, because I've seen it happen for myself and I've seen it happen for thousands and thousands of clients and people that go through my programs and have read my book. So I'm encouraging you today to say you can do this. If I could do it when I was widowed, when I was working in a stressful corporate job with a new baby and going to school full time at the same time, you can do it too. There are no excuses here. If this is something that's important to you, make it happen. And if you need some tools to make it happen faster, I have two of them for you. One is my stress turnaround program. It is hosted on an educational format website called Udemy. And so if you just go to udemy.com backslash stress dash turnaround, I'll put a link down below the video description here. That is a really powerful in-depth program to help you create what I call a life map. And that life map helps you identify the stressors, helps you identify the energizers so you can start to shift, shift the energy between the two. And that program often goes on sale through Udemy, so definitely go check it out. If you're watching this video right now, real time, uh, in November of 2014, it's actually on a Black Friday special. They chose my course to be part of their 10 days of Black Friday, and it's super cheap. It's like 12 or 15 bucks. So definitely go and get that. If you want another option, my best-selling book, The Happy Hour Effect, 12 Secrets to Minimize Stress and Maximize Life. This was a bestseller, still continues to pop on and off the bestseller list on Amazon, and it walks you through hundreds of different tips 
for work, for life, for parenting, for relationships, for your health, to help you create a plan that works for you, to find those things that will work for you. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm going to get back back on track with doing them. They will always be two to five minutes and keep you engaged. This one is a little long because I'm explaining why I'm getting back into the video series. But again, I'm Kristen Brown. Check out the website at happyhoureffect.com. Hang out with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, anywhere you go. I would love to hang out with you there. So forward to seeing you in the next video.